Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we have a lot of news about KPMG. First of all, we got a tip from one of our favorite tipsters about bonuses from KPMG in the U.S. Now, we've heard about bonuses around the big four accounting firms to keep people at the big four accounting firms. And this person sent us a listing of bonuses for the advisory practice, and I'm sure it's across the firm, but this person said that the paraprofessional analyst will get $500. Associates will be getting $1,000. Senior associates, $2,000. Managers, $4,000. Director, $7,000. And managing director, $9,000. And that'll be rewarded next week and this is a mid-year special variable compensation it's not like normal it's this is they're basically doing this to retain people and this is because you have to remember these firms laid people off and cut their pay and a lot of people are actually leaving the big four accounting firms for higher paying jobs as a result as the economy comes back people are able to get higher paying jobs lower stress and, you know, people want to argue whether or not there's inflation. Even KPMG's economist uh, publishes a bunch of stuff about that. But apparently there's some kind of inflation because they're having to give out variable compensation to compete in the marketplace. But I, I only, we've seen this multiple times. We've covered this across the firms, giving their bonuses to people, uh, reinstating their salaries. And... To me, they're not doing this out of their kindness of their heart. They're doing this because they're they're having to pay people out. Next up that I wanted to cover is a humongous story out of the UK. And we know that Carillion is a huge scandal that KPMG faced in the UK. And it's just something that just never goes away for them. And it's it was kind of the last straw to break the camel's back. Because after that, we had all these regulators in Europe trying to figure out the best way to just regulate the big four accounting firms to death. And now we have news that there's a, a firm called litigation capital management that invests in litigation and they've decided to focus on KPMG and they're going to help Carillion's liquidators um, go after KPMG for negligence. And the, they believe that the audit failures resulted in losses exceeding $250 million. I mean, that's pretty epic. I feel like KPMG, we talk about them all the time and their struggles. They faced the huge tax issue in the United States where they had to um, reach a deferred prosecution arrangement with the federal government so that they wouldn't go out of business, similar to how the federal government put Arthur Anderson out of business. And then now in the UK, they face in, intense regulation and on top of that now they they have to face potentially being litigated out of business and the reason they're happy they're doing this is because these litigators want to go after anybody that has deep pockets everybody loves blaming accountants for their problems especially the big four accounting firms and so it'll be interesting to see what happens here potentially this could this really risks KPMG being able to exist in the UK, this along with regulation. And we know KPMG UK just dealt with their CEO issue where their former CEO had to leave because he said some mean things. And then John Holt got elected and they didn't elect a woman. And we've spoken a lot about the, a woman that was already in the, the interim position and she left the firm. And so now they face this huge lawsuit. It's just, I don't know. I hate bashing on them, but it's just, this just goes to show there's a lot of risk at KPMG and they need to, to clean house there and they need to work on, 
they need to work on their their ethics, but they also need to work on um, like tone at the top training, and not just ethics CPEs, right? You have to you have to reward people for being ethical. For example, the variable compensation that we just mentioned regarding KPMG, they need to somehow factor ethical behavior in there. And what this brings to mind too is is within the big four accounting firms, if you report somebody for doing something wrong. A lot of times that's not going to reach anybody because you're giving it to HR, the ethics complaint, and they're meant to guard the company. Uh, who does an HR complaint goes to? It goes to HR and then it goes to a partner. Uh, the partner is most likely buddies with a partner in your group and they're going to look out for each other. And they have to really, I mean, KPMG especially, something needs to change there. They need to figure out what's wrong and they also need to manage their risk because they have they have huge risks across the board uh not only with this Carillion thing but with their ceo where he just feels comfortable in the current environment especially saying whatever he wants and then he has to leave just a lot of stuff has to get worked out at kpmg speaking of kpmg one last news story about kpmg they named a former sec commissioner Roel Campos to join their board in the United States. And this will be an outside, an independent director. As you remember, the big four accounting firms just started doing this recently because, you know, they come under scrutiny for, for just using their own partners. Well, well now they have um, an outside director who was a former SEC commissioner. And this should, I mean, this also gives them an inside help with the government, but, we know that they had issues with that when they hired people from the PCOB, so they're going to have to be careful here, and we'll keep an eye on this. But those are the new stories for KPMG today. Uh, not just KPMG, but the big four accounting firms. To stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. And if you can, support us financially through the Buy Me A Coffee link. If you cannot, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.